My name is Marie Pandaloglu, and I'm here to tell a story about a little girl who migrated with her parents from Greece. When we migrated, we were surrounded by amazing people, great community, lots of food, lots of support. But Greek language was the prominent language spoken and understood at home. So growing up, it was my role as the older sibling to be the interpreter, to be taking my parents to doctor's appointments, to be reading that bill. Because again, my parents' community was surrounded by Greek people. So one thing else about me is that seven years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And two years ago, my cancer returned in the form of metastatic breast cancer. Now anybody going through this journey would say how daunting it is. Where do you get your information? Who are the doctors to choose from? What hospitals do I go? What treatment options are there? I was able to access all that because I speak English, I read English, I got access to the internet. But I wondered, what does someone like my mum, remembering that I was there, I was, I was her voice. Um, and in a way, I feel like I've, I de-skilled her by helping her. But what if someone like my mum was diagnosed? In Australia, there's a, a population of 30% of women are from backgrounds other than Australia. So how do we empower these women when they too get a diagnosis like I do to be able to make informed decisions? So I was very passionate about this topic and together with Breast Cancer Network Australia, I was involved in a project. This project allowed us to translate material written in Greek do audios in Greek and a series of videos. And these videos are accessible for all women and their families who go through breast cancer so they too can have that decision where they can make those decisions um, together with their doctors. I'll always be that girl who helps her parents. Um, that's just who I am. But at the same time, it gives me so much passion and pleasure to know that if that was someone like my mum, she too can go home, have that book, read it, put the audio on, listen, and actually see someone and relate to them going through the challenges um, and to be able to be empowered and informed.